how to deal with negative feelings while studying. It's normal sometimes to feel anxiety, sadness, stress, or even fear while studying. From time to time, we can all experience such negative emotions. Here are my top five tips that help me deal with this problem over the years. Number one, start following a study with me streamer consistently or join a study room on Discord. Often, when we are very anxious or stressed about a test, that very negative feeling can be detrimental to our study performance. That's probably the worst situation, because we want to perform well in the exam, but our emotions are getting in the way. In my experience, joining a study group, um, like a tuning in during a study with me session, can be very useful to deal with that sense of, oh my god, I can't do it. Having a supporting group or person around you can make a significant positive difference. Significant. Tip number two, warm tea, warm hair dryer. One of the tools I use the most when I feel sad, anxious or depressed about something is making a warm tea or using a warm hair dryer. Especially when studying, this is a good technique. Some studies show that warmth is associated with feelings of love. By making yourself warmer while studying, you are enforcing and attaching positive emotions to the activity itself. And this can be very useful for dealing with your negative feelings. Tip number three, listen wisely to the voices of despair and write about it. When you feel negative feelings while studying, often some sort of voice inside you is trying to tell you something. Maybe you're physically exhausted, perhaps you went through a tough breakup recently, or maybe you're just plain anxious about the subject or stressed by it. Whatever is the case, take the time to carefully and thoroughly meditate about the problem. Grab a piece of paper and vent all your emotions on it. Then meditate on them. Reflect, think them through. What is causing these negative emotions? Which is the root? How can you solve the problem? And how can you stop feeling this way? According to some scientific research, writing about negative feelings seems to make them less intense and strong. Writing decreases the negative emotions and it increases the positive ones. For these reasons, writing can be extraordinarily powerful as a tool. A pen can help you defeat darkness. Sleep well, look after your health. One of the major problems that cause mental instability and negative emotions is irregular hours or lack of sleep. Sleeping is fundamental when it comes to regulating our emotions and overall well-being. Make a reasonable sleep waking up schedule and follow it diligently. Doing activities that make you tired or relaxed, such as meditating or reading, can help you fall asleep faster at night. Additionally, look after yourself and generally treat yourself like someone you care for. What do you need? What do you want? Take the time to diligently think this through and do the activities that relax you, make you happier, that enforce positive emotions and stability. Consult a professional. Productivity can easily turn into toxic productivity. Problem in our personal life can lead to depression, panic attacks, chronic stress, and very severe cases and issues. If none of the previous tips helped, and if you think your condition is severe, do not hesitate to consult a professional. A psychologist or a psychiatrist can do a terrific job in helping you with negative emotions and give you the tools to deal with these more serious situations. By consulting a professional, you take the time to make yourself healthier and better, and this can have a positive impact on you as a person and as a consequence on your studying. These are my top five tips for dealing with negative emotions while studying. What was your favorite tip? Do you know any secret tip of your own? Share it with the community in the comments down below. And don't forget to check the study tips playlist for additional extra advice about studying. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.